Hello commanders and welcome in part 13 of the Chilean Empire series. Today our naval admiral is going to start Operation North Sea on the German naval defenses there. You can see in front of you our naval patrol aircrafts. They are detecting a lot of naval defenses there north of Hamburg. And in today's episode, we are going to try to break their naval defenses, destroy them and get to their coastal cities. Will we be successful to do that? Just keep watching till the end, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can literally see the tremendous naval radar of the naval patrol aircrafts. They can make all of the sea visible to you. They will help you uh, locate any naval defenses in front of you there. The combination of naval patrol aircrafts and cruisers is the best there is. I really like it. Also with the cruise missiles. This combination is deadly, strong and very lethal. You can find a little bit problems with someone who is going to play with uh, max level attack submarines and frigates but if you are good with cruise missiles and you know how to use them you will be also good and very strong our stack of cruisers it is destroying the royal navy there in the coast of edinburgh but that stack of destroyers so i'm not going to lose the time there with my cruisers i will give this task for my naval patrol aircrafts to uh, kill those destroyers and i'm going to send my stack of cruisers to the north sea north of hamburg i need to start this battle with uh, multiple attacks from naval patrol aircrafts and cruisers and now the first attack uh, the first attack is going to start now with my two stacks of naval patrol aircrafts as i showed you guys in the last episode we are going to attack with the patrol radius with the edge of it and the contact is established we attacked it or uh, our naval patrol aircrafts they attacked it automatically let's see in the news we killed one destroyer that stack have lost one destroyer now that is good the bad thing here that our naval patrol aircrafts they are going to take a while until they uh, come back yes they have a tremendous attack range but between each attacks it will literally take a lot of time uh, until they refuel and come back this is why i need my cruisers to be in position to continue this assault also i am uh, sending the national guards to the city of Plymouth. i need to take uh, some lands there in the united kingdom to be able to build air bases and airfields and like that i will have logistics enough to use my naval patrol aircrafts with better uh, cadency German defenses they are on the move he is moving his stacks I don't know what is he, what he is trying to do is he trying to counter attack or he will stack them north of Hamburg for more defenses uh, we will use the hit and run strategy with our stack of cruisers just be careful guys here I am going to show you how to properly use uh, the strategy of the hit and run one stack of cruisers is going to be enough to wipe out all of your enemies navies but you have to know how to use your stacks first of all we need to be positioned in the high seas because in the high seas our cruisers they will have a speed of 4.5 uh, of course that is the speed I don't know you uh, the unit but it's faster than in shallow waters in that case we can uh, perform the hit and run very quickly okay keep watching I'm going to show you here his uh, navies they are located in that uh, uh, intersection so I need to get closer for that naval radar to appear we need to move carefully here and stay on the laptop okay it appeared now it is within the range of 100, I'm going to attack it. Okay, the attack is established, let's go back. You can uh, follow the timer that uh, the timer has uh, restarted for, uh, with, the, with one hour. So uh, we have uh, the attack, it, it has been established. You can see here that the notification, it did not appear, maybe a glitch or something, but uh, we can follow the attack with the timer. We killed another destroyer from that stack. So we get back very quickly. You see that our speed is uh, 4.5. We can perform the hit and run very quickly here and very efficiently, even though the um, other enemy is uh, following you and he wants to catch up to um, counter attack, you can use the rush. The rush is going to be perfect in this occasion and in these uh, circumstances as I always use the rush on my ships to get back and avoid the counterattack. 
This is another strategy, guys, that you are going to learn today. Okay, I will be back after 60 minutes. Each 60 minutes, I'm going to launch a strike. Each 60 minutes, I'm going to bombard his stack until it is died. Until it is dead. So he retreated with his stack to his homeland cities. As I expected, he noticed that uh, his stack has been um, damaged. He lost two destroyers, so he is going to assemble that stack with other units near Hamburg. But we are going to continue the same strategy, the hit and run. The bad thing for him that he is now in shallow waters, so he is going to be slow, we are going to be faster, and we can run away before he catch us. So this is the advantage that we have here, guys. We are in high seas, he is in shallow waters. In uh, the strategy of the hit and run, it will be 100% successful. Okay, we are close. You see that our naval patrol aircrafts, they are giving us the vision, the necessary vision to locate everything. The contact has been established. Let's go back. Again, I follow it with the timer of uh, the um, attack, of the 60 minutes attack of my cruisers. There was no notification. I don't know why notifications, they do not appear to me that my task force have um, attacked the other one. I will follow again with uh, the news if something has fallen. Nothing yet, but 100% that stack have been gravely damaged. So in the logs, there in the notifications, the attack is there. But uh, notification did not appear, the pop-up notification did not appear. No problem. Another attack after 60 minutes. Let's go. This is another one. I'm going to keep doing like this. This is the Operation North Sea, where we are going to annihilate the last German defenses near his coastal cities. Okay, I'm going to wait until the attack is established. Okay, now we received the notification. That's good. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back quickly, quickly before he catch up to us. Okay, good. We are outside of his range. That's good. We can stay here. In other cases, guys, you can go further than that. Because he can catch up to you. Don't stop like that. Because now I know that Germany is offline and I am using this to my advantage to kill him while he is offline. Okay, looks like the coast is clear now. Let's uh, approach. Let's get closer. Okay. Another one. Let's kill it. Oh god, that's good. One cruiser in one single strike. That's very good. Okay, now let's bombard his coastal cities. Finally, those naval bases. I'm going to kill them. I'm going to destroy them. The Operation North Sea has been 100% successful, guys. With only one stack of four cruisers, we annihilated all of the German defenses in the North Sea. That was amazing. That was good. Now I'm gonna send my uh, stacks of naval patrol aircrafts. I left them in the island of Azores to heal with my uh, level 3 uh, local hospital there. Now I'm going to send them to patrol near the coast, uh, coastal cities of the United Kingdom. I need to kill the last uh, Royal Navies that exists there. We have a naval radar near Aberdeen and another one near London. And I will give this task to my naval patrol aircraft to kill them. I'm going to send all my air force there to the front because as soon as my airfield and my uh, aeroport is going to be ready in the United Kingdom, I'm going to send everything there. Let's send more cruisers to the front. I'm going to send it near the city of Dublin. United Kingdom has retrieved the island of Iceland. No problem, we can take it later. So guys, today we are at the end of today's episode. We meet in episode 13, where we shall continue our invasion to the European lands. See you guys, and bye bye.